Day three of evidence. The highlights of the transcript from the court hearing. Proof of Mira Kenneth requesting subpoena for Andre Holland. You will find that there are three pieces of paper that resides in this day three of evidence. It will show you in this paper how the hearing officer kind of blew off what Mr. Collins was requesting. Now notice that in the beginning process, in any beginning process of any court cases, there should be some form of explanation as to the process that's going to be uh, taking place in the court. Silence and um, putting your phone on and all that stuff, the do's and the don'ts. But none of this took place in this hearing, the good faith hearing which I don't see what was the good faith because there is no faith and there was nothing good about this hearing. You will see in these documents how the hearing officer, Mr. Stewart, went backwards and forth as it relates to subpoenas, presenting a subpoena to Andre Holland. You will also see that Andre Holland's attorney, Mr. Fine, was adamant in denying that Andre Holland showed up. When police officers write tickets, they have to show up for court to validate that the ticket they wrote was legitimate. When a criminal is arrested for committing a crime, they have to show up or they're in violation of not showing up and they issue a warrant for their arrest. So please explain to me if this is a legal process and Mr. Holland was accusing Mr. Collins of falsifying signatures that he was not required to show up. Now, you will read in one section and Mr. Stewart agreed to Mr. Holland showing up, but then he turned around and he reneged on his words and then he said he didn't have to show up. So how can the Board of Elections and the hearing officer deny and ignore the rules that they set up for people to follow. So it leaves me a question, a serious question. How many other candidates have been bamboozled in this way? How many? And how much money is being paid to set people up for failure so they won't get on the ballot because of other candidates, potential candidates, hearing that they would get on the ballot? This is some kid shit right here. It's, it's children's crap. That's what it is. And it doesn't make any sense. Again, everybody wants everybody else to follow the law, except for those who sit in authority, our politicians and our Chicago Board of Elections and our hearing officer. So what you're saying is what you did to Frederick Collins is okay. And people should sit in silence and not say anything. And that's not the case. And right now, you have various candidates, though none of them or none of them are worthy of being the mayor of Chicago. Y'all don't care about the people. This is not caring about the people's needs. This is some selfish. That's what it is, is being selfish. You don't want nobody to make a difference. Y'all like the increase in crime. You like the increase in killing. You like the increase in theft. That's what that's about because you spend all your time sabotaging and railroading Frederick Collins so you can do what you do and that's lie to the people like y'all did because you don't. You should give up your seats because you have violated your own oath of office and I don't know how y'all sleep and how you look at yourself at night. So this is day three, but day four is coming.